Welcome to Session Self Tutorials. Hello fellow therapists, I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Session Self each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at an integrated telehealth session. If you haven't seen the integrated telehealth setup tutorial yet, I recommend starting with that because all of that setup is going to lead to what we're going to cover in this tutorial. First thing we want to take a look at, here we can see on the calendar we have a telehealth session scheduled. Once we have telehealth turned on, we're going to have a waiting room over here in the left panel, and this is where we're going to see our clients show up when they check in. Right now nobody is here. Let's take a look at some waiting room options while we're waiting for our client to show up. First we can take a look at the history. We can see any sessions that we had, the date and the time. We can change some settings. So, for example, we can customize the name that shows up. If you want to have your title in front, we use the first name by default, so you can check this to override that. You can show the elapsed time. You can also play a notification sound when someone shows up. Let's click Save. Now let's hope that our client is going to show up soon. Oh, look, there they are. So the first thing that we're noticing is that we can see how long they've been waiting. This icon, the camera is going to capture whatever is in front of it when the client checks in. So you can let your clients know that just to be aware that whatever is in view of their camera when they check in, that's going to be shown in this display. So let's just go ahead and take a look at, at starting our call. But first, we also have some options on the session itself. We could start the call. We could chat with the person or we could remove them from the session. Why would we want to remove them? Well, per, since the, you don't have to have a username and password to get to the waiting room, maybe someone found the link somewhere and showed up who shouldn't be there. And if that's the case, we can just remove them. If we want to chat. The chat window is going to show up in the bottom left. We can say, please wait two minutes. We can add an attachment by clicking the paperclip icon. We can add an emoji by clicking this link. Press send. And now our client has received this message. We can minimize the chat window. We can bring it back up. We can close it completely. So let's start the call. We can see when we start the call, we're also going to have some options. We can change our settings. So if we want to change the camera, the microphone, or the speakers, we can. Now we're going to start the call. While the connection's being made, you'll see that loading sign. I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone. And once that's muted, you can see that mute indication up here. If the client has muted their microphone, we would also see that indication. So now that good person has muted their microphone, we can see the mute button is shown in this display. We can see the signal strength of our client. We can see our signal strength here. Obviously, the stronger the connection, the better. If we want to show a preview of ourselves, we can do that toggling this button. This is going to be our in-picture preview. I have the camera turned off, so it's not showing up, but we can toggle that back and forth here. Some people find it very distracting. Some people want to be aware of um, you know, how they're presenting, so you have the option of whether or not you want to see that or not. We can resize this window. If we go to the corner, we can expand and shrink our telehealth appointment. 
the reason why we might want to do that. Let's say our client asks us, hey, what did we work on last session? We can just go to their chart. We could click on the note for the last appointment or some appointment back, and we can actually look at the chart right in session in the same window. Maybe we're done looking at the note and we just want to see our client. If we click this green icon, it's going to go into full screen mode and we'll just see our client. If we want to go back into a minimized view, if we just press escape, we go back into a windowed mode. Some other options. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. We can chat by clicking the chat icon so we can do um, maybe we want to post a link to give to our client. We can do that. We can just put that in the chat bubble. We can also add an attachment or emoji in the in session chat bubble. To close the chat bubble, we can click X. We have some settings. We could share our screen. And when we click share screen, it's going to be similar to other teleconferencing software where you can select a window or a tab to share. And you can do that. You can also change your device settings by clicking the device settings options and you're going to see the same settings that you saw when you joined the session. You can toggle the audio on and off with this button and you can toggle the video on and off with this button. When you're ready to end the call, you can click X and that's going to end the call. Now you can see the person has also gone from the waiting room because the session has ended. If they do check back in, they will arrive back in the waiting room again. And so if there was an accidental disconnection, you can just click start call again and they will be ready to go again. So that concludes our integrated telehealth tutorial. As always, if you need to reach us, you can at support at sessionself.com.